Hello students, welcome to today's tutorial. So student, today we are going to complete all the exercises of chapter network concepts of class 7. So let's get started. So first we will discuss some MCQ's questions. The first question is dash refers to the creation of networks. And the options are A chain, B network, C connection, D networking. So the correct answer is D networking as networking refers to the creation of networks. Moving to the next question. A dash computer is the one which is not connected to a network. The options are A node, B mobile, C connection, D stand alone. So the, here the correct answer is D stand alone as a stand alone computer is the one which is not connected to a network. Next question. In a network, the dash refers to a computer system. And the options are A LAN, B topology, C node, D all of these. So the correct answer is C node. As in a network, the node refers to a computer system. Sometimes we call node as workstation also. Moving to the next question. Question number 4. And dash cable is twisted pair cable containing 8 wires. And the options are A. LAN card, B. Modem, C. Ethernet, D. Sound card. So the correct answer is C. Ethernet. As an Ethernet cable is a twisted pair cable that contains 8 wires. Next question of MCQ is DAS is used to connect different networks. Yeah, the options are router, switch box, NIC card and the D is all of these. So here we have to connect different networks together. So for connecting different networks together we always use the router. Now moving to the fill in the blanks. The first question is a dash is a group of devices linked to one another. The correct answer is computer network as a computer network is a group of devices linked to one another. Second question a dash is a system for communication among computers. What is known as that system? that is used to communicate between the computers. So the correct answer is network as a network is a system for communication among computers. Moving to the third question. In a computer network we share the dash. So the correct option is data. As in a computer network we share the data. Fourth question dash dash and dash some of the important components of a computer network. So what are the three important components of computer network? So the answer is NIC card, modem and Ethernet cable. These three components are used to make a computer network. The last question of fill in the blanks is DAS is a type of computer network topology. So here it can be a MAN, it can be a LAN, it can be a WAN. So a MAN is a type of computer network topology. Now moving to the next, write a few words about the following. We have to write a few words about computer network. So a computer network is a system for communication among computers and other peripherals. So if we want to communicate between uh, two, compu two or more computers or uh, from or to the other peripherals, we need a system. That system is known as computer network. Moving to the next question, an IC card. So a uh, NIC card, sometimes NIC is also known as network interface card. So a network interface card is a computer hardware device that is designed to allow computers to communicate over network. So if a computer is communicating over a network, just this is because of network interface card. This helps to communicate computers over a network. Going to the next question, LAN. Sometimes LAN is also known as local area network. So a local area network covers a small geographic, geographic area such as home, office or any building. So if you need 
to make a network in your home or in an office or in a particular in a small building so we need a kind of network that is a local area network or a LAN we use LAN for doing this okay move to the next question Bluetooth so a Bluetooth is a very short range as we know that Bluetooth is uh, covering a very short range it is a wireless technology and we can use we use Bluetooth to connect devices move to the next question star topology so in the star network topology all the workstations as earlier we have discussed that sometimes workstations are also known as nodes so we can also say that in the star network topology all the nodes are directly connected to a hub or switch box so for connecting all the computers together they are not connected directly instead they are connected with a hub or a switch box okay moving to the next section that is answer the following questions the first question is what is a modem so a modem is a device that enables a computer to transmit the data through telephone or cable lines. So if a computer needs to transmit its data through telephone or cable lines, then a device is used that is modem. As modem stands for modulator and demodulator. Next question is what is Wi-Fi? So the answer is Wi-Fi is a short range but high speed data transfer wireless technology. So Wi-Fi is also an example of wireless technology and it is also covering a very short range but having high speed data transfer. In Wi-Fi we could transfer our data at a very high speed. Sometimes Wi-Fi uh, wi also stands for wireless fidelity. So in the exam also the question comes that uh, what Wi-Fi stands what is uh, what is the full form of Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. Moving to the next question, what is network topology? So the answer is the physical topology of network refers to the configuration of cables, computers and other peripherals. So if you are wanting to uh, connect computer in a network, so we use wires or that is cables and we use many other also supporting devices but that is known as peripheral devices. And how we are connecting all these computers and peripheral devices with the help of wire those configuration is known as network topology so it is our description of the arrangement of computers in a network so how we are arranging the computers in a network that description is known as a network going to the next question what is man sometimes man is also known as a metropolitan area network so a metropolitan area network usually spans a city but does not extend the boundaries of the immediate town a city or metropolitan area that means that if you need to set up a connection within a city only then we use man metropolitan area network the best example is the cable TV as it covers only the city but if we need to cover out of the city means uh, um, extend the boundary then we will not use the man man is only used within the boundary that is we can if we want to set up our connection within a city then we can use the man connection move to the next question define client server network architecture so in this network architecture there is a main computer known as server so here the thing is that there is a server which is also known as a main computer and the other computers are called clients or workstation or nodes as we have discussed earlier so a server controls the hardware software and disk drives so here the server what is the function of server server controls the hardware software or disk drives and also the server provides the services to the client client what is client client is the node or the workstation so client computers request services here the client requests services from the server and according to that server gives the data to the client and also if the client wants to use the storage of the server then also server grants the storage for the client students that we have uh, understood the concept of the questions of this chapter that's it for this video thank you for watching